We are back here with the Miami Dolphins franchise. And before we get going today in week number 10, I just want to thank you guys once again, all the guys that continue to watch. I've had real fun with this franchise here in season number six. And it's really because you guys that just continue to do this and continue to have so much fun. And I really appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And I uh, hope you can continue to enjoy the content from here on out as we get into week number 10. With this dominant Dolphins team we got going on and facing a struggling Panthers team who have lost five straight in the rain once again here in Miami. And we got the orange unis on. Don't usually wear these, but man, I kind of like the way they look, no doubt about it. But here comes Teddy Bridgewater for this Panthers offense. And let's see if we can slow them down, him and Christian McCaffrey. And there you go, handoff to McCaffrey right off the bat. He has a good run. He's going to pick up around nine yards up to the 30, and he's the key. We have to slow him down. And you can see he's probably been slowed down the last few weeks. That's why they've really struggled. They handoff McCaffrey again, but what a hit by Austin Cloud. Coming up from the safety spot. Yeah, hitting the, that one out of the park for sure. And brings up a third and three. Just go right back to the run, but there is McCaffrey. He didn't even get really get good blocking, but McCaffrey's a little bit shaken up. He goes to the bench for Carolina, so at least that's good news for them. He might return, but man, that is not what you want to see at all. So second down and eight, Bridgewater stepping up to the pocket, looking for somebody down the field, doesn't have anybody. He is hit hard by Jerome Baker, and Baker's going to pick up the ball as well. A huge turnover, and it is something you can't do against our team. We're just too good. If You, you, you almost have to play a perfect ball game against us and so far we haven't seen it this year and that is not a good start for Carolina as the woes continue as it's a good uh, first run for Dalton Steele picking up eight we'll go right back to him and he'll have enough for a first down up to the 30 yard line gain of three yards and down to the 30 and a second down to 10 so from the gun to a looking just a four-man rush he fires this one perfectly to Claiborne 26 yards down to the four yard line and we are looking to strike here early off this turnover. Second down and goal. We're going to pitch this one out to Steele. He's got to go wide. Does he have enough? He digs for it. And he gets the ball over for the touchdown. I wasn't sure if his knee was down. They're saying it wasn't. Might have to take a look at this one again on the replay. So he gets to the outside and just uses that strength and able to hold off the defender and just reach the ball out. I think his knee's not down yet. You can see it's over the line. That's a touchdown. Great start to this ball game. And we'll take the 7 to nothing lead. Here with 548 in this first quarter as Bridgewater taking off. And this time he slides down instead of taking a hit and losing the ball once again. So third down and one. And we're going to bring some heat. And that's going to allow Bridgewater to get rid of it. But he can't find Curtis Samuel. Just had to get rid of it too early. Timing off. And that is a three and out quick punt. And here comes our offense once again. And the way Tua has been playing this season has been absolutely unreal. Putting up MVP numbers. Six touchdowns last week. Leading the league. He's on pace for 50 touchdowns. Trying to break Dan Marino's record for the Dolphins as he goes up top. And you can it makes your job a lot easier when you have guys like that. Pat Kirkpatrick, 53 yards. Might be the best receiver in football as we're down to the 11-yard line. Second and eight, back of the end zone. Trust it in your guys once again, and this time it's the rookie Brad Beck. Touchdown! His third on the season, and he is really starting to shine here these last few weeks. And that is just a, maybe a height advantage, you know, trusting that that DB is not going to turn around. And Beck comes down with it, the concentration, getting the two feet in down, in, in bounds, and Tua on the money once again. And we got a 14-0 lead. So right now, this is not looking good for Carolina. As Hagman's not going to get much. So McCaffrey won't be back until the second half. He's out for the rest of this quarter and the next. He'll be back in around the third quarter, they're saying. And they, you can see their offense just doesn't run the same. As on third and nine, that goes nowhere for a loss. And they have to punt once again. And the way our offense is playing, Carolina is in some deep, deep trouble. As on second and nine, we'll find Packer Patrick once again. Catch down to the 30-yard line. And what a start this has been for this team. It really has. First and ten. Play action. Watch out. Pressure coming off the edge. And that's what Carolina needs. Maynard gets in there for the sack. I mean, you have to watch out for Brian Burns on the other side as well. He is fantastic. One of the best pass rushers in the NFL 
As on second and 16, we're hit Kirkpatrick. He's open. He is going to break off the tackle. Breaks off another one. Tiptoes, and he's in for the touchdown. What a play from Pat Kirkpatrick. Tenth touchdown of the season, and that one was absolutely fantastic. Breaks off the tackle, somehow stays in bounds. Breaks off that one, and somehow stays in bounds as well. Tiptoes, hits the pylon. He's in. That was, that was unreal. What a play from that wide receiver. Now a 21-0 lead heading him down to the second quarter, and Jerome Baker makes another fantastic play. He's having one heck of a game. I mean, this team is just crazy. Third and eight, stepping up is Bridgewater as he has a man open down the field and is going to be caught, but the flag on the play, and maybe you can uh, see what happened there as Bridgewater was, I believe, over the line of scrimmage, and he was. So it's an illegal forward pass. Take away the touchdown that Carolina would have loved to have to kind of swing the momentum back, and that is a punt. And now down 21 nothing. Three drives have gone down the field. Carolina really needs to stop, and that will help a lot. Brian Burns around the edge. Just great coverage down the field as well from Carolina, and that is going to be a sack, so a third and 22. And, you know, we can usually pick, we can pick up first downs on third and 22, but I think we're going to play it a little safe. You know, trust in our defense, the way it's been playing, a little underneath completion to Claiborne. Dante Jackson with the stop. And now the defense trying to go to work once again. First and 10, Bridgewater to the outside. That is going to be a nice catch throw, Curtis Samuel. And he'll have the first down up to the 45-yard line. They're trying to get something here. Got to get something momentum rolling here. Second and 11. Bridgewater going to pitch this one to the outside, and that is going to be stopped for around a five-yard gain up to the 50 and brings up a third down and six. So from the gun, Bridgewater looking, fires to the outside. That's going to be caught. D.J. Moore with the catch. He's got some room to run. That runs Byron Jones, and luckily for us, Austin Cloud to bring him down, and he's up to the 26. So best drive of the game for Carolina. As on second inches, they will run it to Hegman, and he's going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Ray Bryant all over that one and brings up a third down and one. Single back is Hegman once again. They're going to go to him again, and that's this time it's going to be Juan Blackburn. The youngster's making the stop and brings up a fourth down and one. Can we get a third straight stop here? They're going to hand the ball off, and that's exactly what we're going to get. Another stop. What a job. We've seen that numerous times, actually, this season. And, man, that was fantastic as a fourth down stop. And somehow, I don't know how Tua made that throw. And somehow Kirkpatrick came down with it. Excellent play there. So we got 2.20 left here in this first half. Trying to get this up to a four-score ball game. As the outside, that's going to be Kasicki with the catch. And he's been quiet so far. That's his only catch. Had three touchdowns last week. That's what I'm saying. Every week, it's, it's just a different guy. Third and three. Dillard with the catch. And that should be enough for a first down. Nice job using that big body. Get in front. Box out the deep, the uh, linebacker there and have the catch. First and 10. Over the middle. Middle Dillard once again. That is another catch up to the 41-yard line. First down as the clock will continue to run here. We still have all three of our timeouts. Plenty of time. As two are now dropping back to throw. He's looking down the field at Claiborne. Somehow squeezes it in for the touchdown. Man, that was about as a perfect throw as you could get. I wasn't sure if that safety was going to get over there in time. It was going to be absolutely close, but that thing is on a rope. It is perfect. Claiborne comes down with it, comes up with the score, his 10th touchdown of the season, and it's a 28-0 ball game with 46 seconds left in here in this first half. So things have just gotten worse for Carolina. It's going to get even worse as Byron Jones picks this one off. As Bridgewater just floated up a pass. I'm not sure if he got hit, but he did because Bridgewater's a little bit shaken up. And now we're down to the 18. We got 36 seconds left. All three of our timeouts, we have a chance to add another score. As watch out, pressure coming. Brian Burns will pick up his second sack of this first half and will use a timeout. So back to the 25-yard line. Tua looking down the field. He's going to fire. Goes underneath to Dillard. We'll have a catch. We'll use the other timeout. we got 23 seconds left and a third down to five. So we can still pick up a first down here and use a timeout. So Tua looking over the middle. Finds Dillard and Dillard using his strength. And he pulls the linebacker in for the touchdown. Yeah, you could flex because you just pretty much use your whole strength there to get in. 
and that is another touchdown in the fourth TD of this first half for Tua as his touchdown numbers just continue to rise and it's a 35 nothing game like I, I've told I've said it before the sliders are at a point where it's 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 definitely tough it they favor the CPU no doubt about it it's just we have so much better of a team than anybody else is when we take on teams like this Panthers team that's lost five straight they're not as good they're struggling it, it turns from a, pretty much a blowout. It's just going to be a blowout. Um, we're we're going to have the only games we're going to get is against good teams. Next week we take on the Bills, who lost forty-five to fourteen to New Orleans. So we'll see. I mean, it's going to be on the road. Can Buffalo stop us? Because right now up thirty-five nothing. I think this one's pretty much in the bag. Because we're going to give a drive. I think last drive here to Tua and company to uh, you know try to pad their stats even more. I know. He probably even shouldn't be out there to try to for health reasons, but still, I think one drive here in this third quarter is enough. As two on the play action, first and ten, per perfectly puts this on Claiborne and then uses the speed. Unbelievable! It turns out to be you know a dangerous pass, and it's completed, and he picks up an extra you know 20, 30 yards. Unreal. Second and five, will hand off to Dalton Steele. Not a whole lot there. Once again, running game just not as strong. The blocking just not there. But the passing game is definitely there. Third down and four. And speaking of, Packer Patrick with the catch. And he carries two DBs in for the score. Wow. His second of the game. Fifth TD for Tua. I, I'm, after this game, we have to look what, what he has been doing this year. Even Pat Kirkpatrick, this looks like season one Kirkpatrick. Last year, he still had a solid season. He had over 1,000 yards, uh, and he missed the final four games of the season. Just touchdowns were obviously down after that rookie setting, that you know record-setting rookie year. As you can see, everybody getting involved. Chandler Jones just signed on the team last week. He gets himself a sack. Man, everything just seems to be working here. So far, as on third and 13, dangerous pass. This was popped in the air. And yeah, I guess you got to try anything. You got to try something. It's 42 0. They'll punt the ball. So here comes the backup. Here comes Jalen Hurts. So we're going to see what Hurts has. He hasn't got, uh, you know, he's got more time than he would think this year, you know. But still, I want to pass the ball instead of running it. I want to see what he has. Get in some of these backup receivers as well. As Hurts looking, firing down the field, looking for Matt Garvin, who has the catch. Gets away from the defender. And even our backups are having a great time. Garvin, 36 yards. As we're down to the 11-yard line. Third down and four. Hurts looking. Fires. And Brad Beck comes away with the catch. Nice adjustment to the ball. Throws a little bit off. But it's completed. First down. We got first down and goal. And this time it's going to be kept. And almost getting in there for the touchdown was Hurts. Right at the pretty much inch line as on second and goal we're just going to keep it with Hertz QB draw up the middle let him finish it off let him get himself a touchdown I mean he helped us win a Super Bowl last year so can't complain about that and that's pretty much going to do it the Panthers would add a garbage time touchdown so the final is 49 to 7 man another beatdown is this might be the best team this Dolphins team has ever had Tua, a perfect game, 158.3 rating, 1618, 323, five touchdowns. And back to the last statement, that's saying something when you have a team in 1972 Dolphins that go undefeated. And if you listen to a lot of, you know, people that were, you know, around then and knew that team, they say the 73 Dolphins who ended up winning the championship the next year were a better team, even though they lost, you know, a few games. So, but this team is fantastic there's really no weakness we can throw the ball we do struggle sometimes with the run but we still on a consistent basis run for over 100 yards a game uh so our offense is almost unstoppable defensively where's the weakness maybe pass rush maybe that's it we just don't supply enough pressure but our secondary is so good and our linebackers cover well we we handle the run so well this might be the best defense I, I don't know if we're at 2,000 Ravens or 86 Bears yet, but man, 
uh, we're, we're getting up there. We might be near the 2003 Bucks team, that is for sure. As you can see, Tua, 34 touchdowns, 6 picks, and he is having... I mean, that year, 2023 season, 45 touchdowns, 5,000 yards, was one heck of a season. He somehow didn't win the MVP. But you could see, look what he has done this whole season. And really, look what, we'll go down to the start, obviously, from week one. Just absolutely dominating, putting in touchdowns. But since that performance against the Ravens, one touchdown, four picks. Since that game, six touchdowns, two, six, and five. Unbelievable. 18 touchdowns, one pick in his last four games. Tua is just on it. He is unreal. And you can see Packer Patrick. Yeah, the down year sort of last year. I mean, how do you back up a, a rookie season like that? I mean, to over 2,000 yards, 25 touchdowns. You break the yards record, you break the touchdown record. And last year, still averaged 15.5 a catch. Like I said, missed the final four games. So he probably would have had... Close to 90 catches as well last year, but what a tear he has been on the last three games. Look at that, over 130 yards the last three, you know, uh, five touchdowns. It's been fantastic, and now week number 11 will head to Buffalo, and this could be possibly for the division. I think New England's 5-4 and four as well. We don't see them for another, another few weeks, but for Buffalo, if you don't win this, uh, you're definitely just hoping you get a wild card spot because this could be this could be it for your division. If we go to 10 and 0 and you're 5 and 5, that's pretty much it for that. We'd have to really collapse, and I just don't really see how that would happen with this team unless uh, you know we get everybody gets hurt. But that's a really about it. But man, another great performance. But that is gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys once again so much for all the support. I really appreciate you guys are awesome. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.